Hello. All right. We're going to be um, starting off where we left off. So we're going to create a new command. Uh, this time we're going to be doing select menu. So let's do let's do a call it menu. You know, slash command as always. Uh, you can do it a text command. You can change it. It doesn't matter. It's personal preference. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to make it a message in like uh, menu version 2.0 or something. It doesn't really matter what it says. So select menus, we're going to create um, a menu, and we're going to, for the placeholder, now this is the, this is what it's going to say for like the gray text, so we're going to just, I don't know, call it select, sure. Now temp variable name, this is important if you want it to actually do things to what it, to what you want it to select, so we're going to call it var, sure. Um, maximum select number. I say just do one, but this is how many you can select in the menu. Uh, yeah, uh, action row. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's like the rows of how many you can select, how many actions you can select. Action response mode. Uh, this is temporary only for command user. You can only you the command user can only select. Temporarily, it'll do the time limit for temporary, and then anyone can use it. Persistent means works after bot resets, but the thing about this one is you cannot carry over temp variables. So, if, you, if you're trying to do that, then it's not going to work. Probably going to have to do temporarily. temporarily. And you can check, you can do the temporary time limit if you want. You can set it to something custom. Milliseconds, it's in milliseconds, so be aware of that. So options, we'll just make two, and we'll just say for yes, and for the description, we'll say option yes, and the value. Now, you need this if you want it to do anything, like I said. Um, so we're going to set the, we're just going to say, set it the value to yes. And then we're going to create another option, no, and then option no. Again, you can set it to anything you like. Uh, it's fine. Uh, link, can, we can insert emoji, let's just say, uh, I don't know, um, frown, and yes, for happy face, you know, uh, alright, now here's where we get into the actions, so what we're gonna do, if we want it to do something, we're gonna do check a variable, uh, and then we're gonna do the var we set, like the temp variable name, and we're gonna do that, and now we're going to set it to what we set the options value is. So we're going to do yes. So if it equals to yes, then it will jump to an action. If false, continue actions. Because we're going to copy this. Uh, control C, Control V, by the way. Um, it's very helpful. And then we're going to do value to compare to and no. And then if not, then stop action sequence. Um, so we're going to do end action sequence now. Uh, Copy that about three times. About three times, um, and then we're gonna set it to a message like uh, yes and no. Then so for yes, we're going to set it. We're gonna jump to action four, which will send yes. And then if it equals no, then we send it to action six. And now if we. Uh, Save it and run. Stop the bot with Control T. By the way, uh, let me go back and let's do. Uh, forgot. All right, I forgot the command. Menu, menu 2.0, and then yes and no. If we do yes, it'll say yes, and if we do no, it'll say no. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.